Hello everyone, today we'll be covering all the changes in the latest release of Finale, which is called Finale version 25. Make Music released Finale on Tuesday, August 16th, 2016, and is officially available to the public. A few words before we get into the changes. Firstly, Make Music is no longer offering physical discs to customers who purchase the media kit. Instead, you will receive a USB flash drive with the Finale installer on it. Customers who bought or upgraded to Finale 2014 30 days prior to the release date will be eligible for a free upgrade to Finale version 25. However, if you are outside this window, upgrading will still be the same $149. Make Music plans on doing more periodic updates with this latest version. This is to help keep up with any bugs or crashes and therefore fix them sooner. We will be covering both the Mac and Windows changes, however, since I only have Windows, I won't be able to show you all the Mac changes on the screen. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's start with the big news. Make Music has made Finale a 64-bit application. This means that if you are running a 64-bit operating system, Finale can now take advantage of the extra computing power of your machine. This will result in lightning fast playback load, especially if you are trying to load a large ensemble. While on the topic of playback, they have fixed the transposed instrument entry where before, if you are entering music for a transposed instrument, the entry sound will play back in written pitch, which would be incorrect. It now correctly plays back in concert pitch, definitely a nice change. Another welcome change is the new Reset All Preferences button added in the Preferences dialog box. This allows you to revert back to the default preferences and therefore not having to rip out all your hair trying to manually reset it. Large time signatures are now, quote, easier to create in Parts option under the Staff Attributes dialog box. I personally have yet to find what makes this easier, as I haven't been able to easily create any large time signatures thus far. Partial measure selection now allows you to select and change a chord symbol without having it alter any other chords in the same measure. You can find this under Utilities, Change. A new slur has been added called the Contour Dashed Slur. This resembles the normal dashed slur, except that it tapers off near the ends of the slur. Make Music has added a huge selection of new Garretton sounds from the World Music Collection into Finale. Again, this is a big list and I won't go through them. If you want to know what has been added, you can check out the Make Music website. And while on the topic of Garretton, Garretton Ambience has been moved to the ARIA player under Settings. You can now choose from the old listings of Garretton Ambience or the new Convolution Reverb, which sound much more realistic in my opinion. Another huge feature is the introduction of Rewire. Finale can be used as a slave on a supported third-party digital audio workstation, such as Logic Pro or Ableton Live. This will be useful for film composers who want to line up music to a scene of a movie. All right, let's touch on the removed features. In a controversial move, Make Music has removed the ability to scan in documents. This is out of concern for composers and publishers who pointed out the ease for others to violate copyright infringement. For more removed features, classic 8th note beams, count items, and band in a box plugins have been removed, along with the tempo tool and mirror tool. That is it for removed features, so let's move on to the bug fixes. On the Windows side of things, articulations. Unlinked articulations maintain their positioning after saving and reopening a file. The Chord Tools MIDI input correctly identifies an augmented triad. Show Active Layer Only no longer removes all beat chart edits in a file. 
Always use this document style with the selected ensemble in the setup wizard no longer produces the document style can't be found error message. Ensembles containing Unicode characters can now be deleted. The dulcimer's diatonic instrument definition have been corrected. Percussion notes no longer copy into other staves when the filter is set not to include notes. Finale no longer crashes on launch when text style finale script is in the finale script folder. Continuous glissandos are realized for chains greater than two notes in length. Exported EPUB and SVG files do not exhibit clipping. Repeated notes play correctly when human playback is selected for start stop time for human playback and when using the jazz human playback style. New keyboard shortcut shift control backslash for top alignment of graphics and text blocks. Text using a Korean titled font in a Korean version of Windows are properly loaded when reopening a file. Finale no longer crashes when opening files with dangled measures. Copying partial measures in a percussion staff no longer results in lost note types. Page breaks are preserved when inserting a measure stack in a score. Select all in edit system margins work correctly. Finale no longer creates individual PDF files when something is selected within the document. Canceling within the print to XPS slash PDF save dialog no longer causes Finale to become unresponsive. Kanong instrument uses correct percussion layout. Repeat wings draw correctly in postscript. Saving a .musx file no longer overwrites the original .mus file. Documents created with score merger are able to display up to 9,999 measures per region by default. Nudging while creating shapes in the shape designer now functions. Both in simple and speedy entry, flipping stems shortcut L work correctly without having to press the key multiple times. Text. Write justification in the text menu works correctly and no longer crashes in finale. Ties going into the last measure of a document containing a whole note no longer crashes finale. And finally, timpani tremolo no longer causes crash during playback. Let's move on to the Mac side of things. So, for all you Apple fans, breathe a sigh of relief because Finale no longer requires Apple Java 6 in order to run properly. Along with that, bookmarks can be created and edited without resulting in crashing. Change Fonts plugin dialog box now displays fonts correctly. Score Manager cleft selection draws properly on retina displays. Notation no longer disappears when toggling between layers in the MIDI tool window. Moving items with Unicode characters up and down within lists in the Manage Parts dialog and Reorder Staves dialog boxes maintain their display. The Symbol Selection dialog box no longer crashes in full screen mode. Ensembles containing Unicode characters can now be deleted. Checking displays have separate spaces under System Preferences, Mission Control, keeps the document window's focus. Working PS Engraver text fonts included in Installer. Style checkboxes in the font dialog box accurately reflect mixed styles in a single text block. Finale no longer crashes when deleting an image. When a custom human playback style is being used that has swing set to current, the swing controls in the playback window are now usable. Hyperscribe functions correctly with files named with UTF-8 extended characters. New keyboard shortcut shift command backslash for top alignment of graphics and text blocks. 
Switching away from Finale and Back no longer disables tool-specific keyboard shortcuts. When using a text tool, shortcuts for the Finale and text menus work correctly when a text block is selected or deselected. Clicking a currently selected mode button in the Lyric window no longer deletes that mode. Master Tool Palette now correctly changes tools. Improved speed when deleting a measure stack from a score with hundreds of time signature changes. The playback cursor no longer causes Finale to crash. File names that have uppercase ASCII characters can now be saved as audio files. Score Manager's cleft selection draws correctly on retina displays. Items no longer display in original position while moving them with selection tool. Command option period and command option comma shortcuts to move between parts work correctly. Shortcuts for TG tools align slash move dynamics function correctly. Simple entry correctly inputs notes when using a mouse with a zoom percentage of 125% and less. Finale no longer crashes while scrolling and clicking in speedy entry. A minimum percentage applied to Studio View to prevent the overlap of controls. Symbol selection dialog box no longer causes crash in full screen mode on 10.11 El Capitan. And finally, Finale no longer shrinks font items when zooming with one document minimized. And that is going to be it for this update. If you want to learn more about the pricing and features, you can go to makemusic.com and click on the Finale tab. I will leave links in the description below, but that is all I'm going to cover in this update. I hope this was useful, and if you have any questions on how to do something in Finale, I have a series which covers this, so I'd be more than happy to post a how-to video. Please do leave a like if this was useful, and if you want to see more, it would be great if you could subscribe. Again, thanks for watching, and have a good one.